I'm joined now by Xiaomin Li, an eminent scholar and professor of international business at Old Dominion University in Virginia. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. So, at this year's two sessions, some of the motions revolved around labor laws and uh, more rights for employees. What's work life in China like now? Are companies asking for too much? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, you know, we all heard this at 996, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 12 hours a day, six days a week. So that is, you know, what you just talked about, you know, 72 hours per week. And then in here or in Europe, we have like a 40 hours per week. So China is almost as twice as, you know, hard in working and productive uh, in, in working. So right. I think that, mm -hmm. yeah, contribute to this uh, sleep deprivation. Yeah, and we hear, you know, we, we just had the report that about 300 million uh, people in China uh, are sleep deprived. So are we really blaming it all down to the hustle culture and the, the companies? Good question. I think there, there are two things. One is we have to, you mentioned the culture. The China today has a, has a, Hard working culture, which I call a perfect storm. Mm. You know, uh, historically we know Confucian uh, tradition, hard working, right? And then uh, before the reform, Chinese had decades of uh, poverty that left an indelible imprint on the collective mind of China. So people have strong incentive to work to pull themselves out of poverty. And then we have Deng Xiaoping's uh, open up and reform that he calls you know, getting rich is glorious. So we have this uh, triple package. Confucius, Mao, and Deng together created this uh, hard working culture. That's uh, one, uh, one answer to that. All right, Professor, of course, you know, like with every problem comes opportunity because there seems to be quite a lot of money in the business of selling a good night's sleep, as we heard that. Uh, you know, how is the Chinese market reacting to this industry? Well, good question. I think uh, we, just, we just saw this uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, product or service that will help, you, uh, help people to fall into sleep. So I think any service is a product that can alleviate this overworking uh, sleep deprivation will be more than welcome. I mean, for the, for the government, I think they should give the message to the CEOs of the companies. I think they are the root cause. Their hyper-competition is the root cause. So tell those people, you know, they need to chill. <laughs> they need to chill, Professor, but there's also a national goal to double China's economic output over the next 15 years, as we heard from the two sessions. Do you see that influencing productivity expectations and how much workers will have to deliver? Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I think that, that goal is very driving and uh, it, it's a tall order. I still think, you know, uh, it, it's not only China, this, this uh, competition... Uh, is ingrained in, uh, I must say, East Asian culture. So the the there needs to be a culture change of uh, you know, re, you know relax a little bit mm -hmm. and enjoy the fruit of uh, of labor while you're working. So there you go, and enjoy the weekend as well, Professor Xiaomin Li. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.